How's everyone doing? It's CWK here, and today we're going to be doing another uh, programming in under a certain amount of time challenge. I think I'll do I think I'll do 30 minutes for this one because I'm actually going to use my standards library for this, just because it makes everything easier. So this is going to be sort of like a um a Space Invaders slash Galaga kind of clone. Um, if you never played that, you basically you well in Space Invaders, you know the monsters they use like they come down. Uh, periodically, and they shoot stuff at you. They shoot, like, little lasers at you, and you have to try and, like, get rid of all of them before they kill you. And in Galaga, you just roam around the, uh, the galaxy, and you, like, you destroy certain things. I can't exactly remember, but... I have the Galaga sprites on my other monitor, and we're gonna be using those for the sprites here. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. So, I guess we'll call it, uh, space... Let's call it generic space shooter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, add the external jars. Add my standards. There we go. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a new class. Uh, generic Space Shooter. So we should probably put this in a different package. Package.com. Uh, Joshua Kratz. Uh, generic Space Shooter. Main. That's it there. There we go. Alright, and we'll make it extend standard game public generic space shooter W H super width height title generic space shooter in under we'll do under thirty minutes, fine. We'll make it that inside my library. This time start game. Make sure it's that there we go. Uh, public void tick. Public void render. Alright, control shift O. There we go. Alright, we're going to need to have a standard handler for this. And then initialize it in here. There we go. Alright, so now we can just go ahead and create the player. Um, why is it giving me a... Oh, <laughs> that was weird. Uh... Let's go ahead and... Oh, I haven't made the main method yet. Uh, we'll do that really quick, I guess. There we go. New generic space shooter. I'll make it... 800 by 800. That's fine. Uh, and this is what it produces. A little window with the FPS and the updates. And we need to turn console FPS to false. This is literally all you have to do with my library to get um to get a game run. You don't have to do the game loop or anything. It's all made in the background of this class right here, which I wrote. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and make the player actually. Uh, player. We'll have to do extends. Actually, no, we don't. Um, we can do. We have movements. Movement. Uh, left, right. And then we can do public player double. X double Y. We need to make it extend standard game object first. Extend standard game object. Super X Y standard ID dot player. All right. So actually, um, in the standard handler, we're gonna have to uh, we're we're gonna have to make our own handler. Now I think about it. Uh, generic space shooter. Handler extends standard handler uh, public generic space shooter handler. That's a very long constructor. Uh, this dot is that? Oh, let's do that. This dot entities equals new array list of standard game objects. We want to do public void tick. Public void render two d d two super dot render d two. That way it'll still render the same as the uh, as the method above. We'll Makes an override, or as the method in the super class, I should say. Sorry. Uh, what? Oh, um, public void tick public void render graphic two d d two. Uh, now I have to have some sprites, so this stack, well, I just want to make sure that this is a, uh, a, cur a 
Okay, yeah. Okay, this dot current sprite equals standard ops dot load image. Again, this is another one of my uh, classes. Resources dot or resources slash. Uh, let's see. Uh, player dot png. I'll name it that. All right, so that'll be the sprite we use, and then we can go into paint. Not not um not opera. Uh, copy it and save it to tic tac toe game I was making went horribly wrong. <laughs> uh, and here we'll do resources. We'll do player. There we go. Um, that's pretty much it actually. So, what? Import. Import everything. What? Why is that on import the stuff? Okay. Uh, let's just refresh it so we have the folder. What? Oh. Uh, generic. Oh. SSH. We'll call it that. <laughs> Private generic space. There we go. SSH. Actually, we could do this, and then we could do new generic Sushir Handler. There we go. Alright, um, since that's the super class, then we can just use the subclass. Alright. So in here, we'll, we'll handle that later. No pun intended, we'll handle it. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that should load in, right? And then we can do uh, g2.drawImage. What? g2.drawImage. This dot current sprite, x, y, and all. And these will have to be cast to ints. I should probably put a method inside of my uh. Uh, I'm making a I'm making another rendition of my library, and I should probably make it so far. even if you pass in doubles, you don't have to cast them right here. You can just do that. It'll do it inside of the library itself. Um. Anyway, so that should work actually. But now we can bind the keys, so this dot left equals new movement. This null, uh, actually it can be like negative two maybe, and zero. I'll have to test this, just to make sure it all works. Zero, pass it to right. This dot left dot bind. Uh, let's see, we'll have to pass in the game, okay, yeah. Uh, standard. Actually, we could just pass in generic space shooter. GSS. Private generic. GSS. We can do this dot GSS. GSS. We can do GSS dot keyboard. And then we can do key event dot VK. K. W. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> A. Do the same for the, for the right one. Right. Just D. There we go. And now that we've done that, um, we can run it. And we haven't actually added it. <laughs> I'm retarded. Uh, do commits the new handler to handle collisions. Just make some comments. Uh, it's the objects in the game. Private player. Player. Uh, we should probably put this at the front, actually, or at the, right there. Uh, initialize the handler first. This dot player equals new player. Initialize them at the bottom of the screen, so that's at, like, 300, 720, maybe. This dot gssh dot add, oh, add entity. Uh, this dot player. What? Oh, I'm passing this to it. There we go. That should work. No, it's not. I am retarded. Standard. I have to actually uh, update them and then render them first. Standard draw uh, handler gssh. Now it should work. No. <laughs> what? What's wrong? What? 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 What am I doing wrong? Oh, I am stupid. What? Wait, it should still at least update it. Actually, oh no, I don't even need to put that because it still updates it the same. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, I'm going to do it for int i equals zero. i is less than set entities dot size i plus plus. This that entities dot get i dot tick. No. Uh, debugging so print line js save dot size. Okay, so it is something in there, but where is it being placed? Is this not being called? No, it's not being called. Okay. Um. Uh, hmm. Public void render. Look. Come on. Uh, graphics. Two, 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 two. Override. Or and i equals zero. I listen. This dot entities. Size i plus plus. Uh, this dot entities. I get i. Uh, render v2. There we go. Much better. Okay, but now we can't actually do anything. But no one, because we haven't actually done anything yet. So, here's what we do. So, we'll do if left.on uh, check for left condition uh, this.x minus equals this.velx if right dot on this dot x plus equals this dot bell x. Alright, so we need to have that and then we can do Oh whoa oh whoa whoa what? Oh lord, okay. <laughs> Something's backwards. Something's backwards. What? Well, let's just make this a lot slower. These have to be floats, right? Yeah, they do. Those go way faster than they should. <laughs> ah, screw it. We won't use those. We'll just use the key input or the listener implements key listen. That um. That is a little bit buggy still, so that's my f or that's my fault, basically. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, public void key pressed. Key event e switch e object key code case key event dot bk a stop x equals. 0.5 case key event dot bkd bell x equals 0 0.5 it's an itch in my ear <laughs> uh see all right public void, public void key released because there's three methods inside of the interface and we'll need to account for that equals zero Gotta make sure to put that break statement in there, because that'll screw me up. I'll screw me up every time. Uh, break, break. Then we need to do public void key typed key event e. And if it doesn't do anything, we still have to have it. Then here we can do uh, this dot add listener player. Oh, I'm even more of an idiot. God. Uh, <laughs> this dot x plus equals this dot bell x. Okay, it's moving very slowly, I'll admit, but it is moving. Let's change that to about five. There we go. All right, so it does now move left and right, although we can still move off the screen, which is not a good thing. So. We can do if this dot x is greater than or no is less than zero this dot x equals zero. If this dot x is greater than actually we can just do this for uh 
Which one I got? Let's start check coordinates. Let's make a method for it. <laughs> Public void check coordinates. Then we can do if this dot x less than or equal to zero, this dot x equals zero. If this dot x is greater than or equal to uh this no this dot gss dot width minus this dot width and we need to account for that actually this dot width equals this dot current sprite dot get width this dot height equals this current sprite dot get height there we go uh let's see do this dot x equals this dot gss dot width minus this dot width if this dot y is less than equal to zero we don't even need to account for that this should work we it does work nice all right because a little bit off the screen but that's just because the way that the j frames work all right cool we got that nice all right so next thing is to add a background because we do need one of those so uh, we'll just Google a space background because I'm lazy. I don't want to draw anything. Uh, these may be copyrighted. So I'll put the source for them in the code to make sure I'm not sued. But I'm not like publicizing this or anything. So or I'm not like going to release it to the public or anything. So we should be okay. But just in case. Okay, that's, that's a weird website. All right, I'll just I'll put the uh, image image reference. That's where I got it from. <laughs> uh, there we go. Copy and we'll put it in here. Span canvas, whatever. It doesn't really matter. BG, yeah. Uh, let's see. Get rid of that. Mm, background init private static buffer image bg. Some all some shots of that. Show sure do. I will initialize it first. This this dot bg equals center ops dot load image resources bg dot png. Fresh. Then we'll do render it first. Uh, generic space shooter dot bg. Uh, which we'll do standard draw dot render dot draw image. Actually, don't I have a don't I have a static method for that? I swear I do. Let me standard draw dot m. Yeah, I do actually. All right, cool. Uh, this no b. Generic space shooter shotter VG zero zero. All right. Uh, is that to a static? Oh wait, no. What? No, it needs to be static. All right. So that should work. Never mind. Something went wrong. What? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just love any type of random character somewhere. Me too. What? That image looks way bigger in the in the. In the opera thing. What? Oh, it's only 320 by 480. All these other images are way bigger. Okay, then. I guess we'll use a different one. Just paste it over. Alright. Uh, refresh. That should work. Much better. Much better. Alright, so... I guess we'll reference this one. This one has a much nicer link instead of a stupid Tumblr link. There we go. All right, so now that's in, I guess we can go ahead and start uh, programming like a bullet or something. So, case key event dot vk space. This, uh, no, we can do this dot fire bullet. Break. Uh, so we need to make a private void fire bullet. Now we only want them to fire a bullet um, during certain intervals. So we can do 
there's a certain way to do this, I know, but um, we'll just do private short interval equals zero. Then we can do uh, if if i or this dot interval is greater than or is less than we'll do a hundred return or actually no if it's less than that do that and then return then else I don't know this would be this dot interval <laughs> else um this dot interval equals zero this dot See, there is no way to access that publicly okay um I guess we could make that a public static handler um, we'll change the way to access it like that we'll make this quit yelling at me all right uh we'll do this no we'll do generic space shooter gssh.add entity new bullet and then we can add it wherever the player's gun is and that would be at this dot x plus this dot width divided by two i think we can just we can guess and check with this that's fine and then we'll do this dot y and yeah that's it uh we need to make a bullet class now Send standard game object public double no public bullet double x double y super x y standard id dot weapon I can't do that there all right public void tick public void render graphics 2d g2 and then we can do g2 dot uh, draw line this dot x actually uh let's just use a bullet image bullet sprite google something why not or we can we can just use one of the uh one of the cool ones from or i guess one of the generic ones from here let's see which one do i dislike the least uh all right. Uh, thank you to that person who ripped the sprites anyway. But I think we'll we'll look up some sprites real quick. Just give me a second. Uh oh, that looks pretty nice. All right, yeah, we'll use that one. All right. Uh, let's see. Good God, that's a big image. I'll show you, show y'all, just for reference. Uh, we need to shrink this down a lot. <laughs> uh, make it about twenty. No, how small does this need to be? About like five. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be about five, actually. Oh, Lord. <laughs> now it doesn't even look cool anymore. Zoom in really close. I just heard something go off on my phone. What was that? Oh. <laughs> Graduation tickets. Uh, let's make it about... I don't want to look like a I don't want to look like a light bulb. But I guess we'll oh come on. That'll have to do. Alright, then we can save this as bullet.png. And then we can uh private buffer image. Actually no, we can just do let's see. This dot current sprite equals standard ops dot load image resources <coughs> bullet dot png. Alright, <clears throat> do this dot width equals this dot current sprite get width, this dot height, not health, height equals the current sprite dot get height. There we go. And do this dot x plus equals this dot vel x, this dot y plus equals this dot vel y. And do this dot vel y equals negative 10. Sure. T2 dot draw image, this dot current sprite, int x and y no all right let's see if that works that should you know the parentheses i believe yeah 
Alright, so let's see if that does work. No. <laughs> Crap. Uh... What? Interval. Oh, it only do Oh, because... No, oh, okay, I'm retarded. Uh... Interval can be going up whenever it needs to. Alright. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so that needs to be a little bit faster. Let's go into... We'll go into debug mode and we'll check this out. Uh, hot swapping is great, by the way. Okay. That. That there, and we'll hot swap it. Now we can do... So, this dot interval. So that's going to keep going up no matter what, and we don't need to do that, so... If this dot interval is greater than 100, this dot interval equals 100. Rather than equal to. Well, actually, no, we can just do it like that. There we go. So then do that, and then. Where's it coming out? Oh, it's coming out right near it, too. That's really cool. We want to make it pixel perfect. Uh, yeah, whatever. X minus 1. Make it minus 10. <laughs> minus 2, maybe? Perfect. Perfect. I like that. Make it fire a little bit faster, maybe. Let's try 20. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So now that that's done, we'll get out of this for here. Uh, we'll do this dot. Bullet fire check. Then we'll just copy this into here. Private void fire bullet check. It is used locally. Fire bullet check. Ah, oh, okay. The only problem is you can't fire initially, so we'll need to change that to 100 automatically. Make sure you can fire as soon as it starts. There we go. I don't. I just don't want to fire to rapid fire. Like we'll make it. We'll make it ten. Why not? That's still pretty quick. We'll make it twenty. Twenty. Twenty should be fine. I'm not. I'm not going to check it. Twenty's fine. All right. Now we need for enemies because we're running kind of low on time. So com dot josh dash generic space shooter in um, these. All right, uh, we'll make a generic enemy class. I guess make it extend standard game object public enemy double x double y super x y standard id dot enemy. Uh, private in. Well, actually, all standard game objects have a health field. Oh, oh lord, oh lord. Oh no, let's not do that. Uh, make them import those. Man, I want it to be graphics 2D2, not Argo. <laughs> uh, let's see, make them stand. Oh, we, we have access to the handler, I'm right. I'm, I'm stupid. Uh, that's really all. Well, we can't make a nap. We'll need to make the snapshot class. There we go. Um, these will still be abstract, because we can override them in the final step. Uh, let's see. Abstract void. Public void fire bullet. Uh, public. Abstract. Fire bullet. What? Oh, remove the... What? No, 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 hold on. Uh, you're gonna remove the... Alright, there we go. Uh, do we need the override tag? Not really, because we're not doing anything. Alright, so... Inside of here, we'll do, like, uh, what's, uh, what's an enemy in here? Uh... Green bat. Sure. <laughs> uh, extends enemy. Like, green bat. 
double x double y super x y. This oh lord. This dot current sprite equals send op dot load image resources green bad dot png. This dot width equals this dot current sprite I get width. Current sprite I get width. This dot height equals this dot current sprite I get height. Uh, this dot health equals 40. Make this a, we'll have a health for this guy too, or for the player. So this dot health equals 500, whatever. Uh, implement public void tick, public void render, graphics 2d2. Should do. There we go. All right. So what? Oh, fire bullet. Yeah. Public void. Void fire bullet. And we'll make uh. We'll make all these have a a, a private int interval equals zero. We'll make them fire build fire bullet immediately. Uh. And we'll do the same thing we did for the player or for the for the bullet act or whatever it is. Yeah, um check fire bullet and then check for bullet. And then we'll do No no hold on. Oh, we're in the wrong class. <laughs> uh there we go. Alright, so what? Oh. Yeah, because we're overriding it. Uh oh these need to be protected. Oh, okay, yeah, we can make it protected. That's fine. Um, fire bolt check, yeah, that's fine. Um, to add into the new blah blah blah. Uh, actually, um, well, the only, the only problem is that bullet will only fire forward. We'll need to make it so it fires, uh, down. Okay, so I guess what we can do is in here we'll have, uh, double vel y. So vel y equals vel y. Then we can do, let's see. Hmm. Let's see if this dot belt we can do math dot signum uh this dot bell y if it's equal to negative one which means it's less than zero just fire it because it's going up and then else what 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 Oh, okay. Else, <laughs> uh, do you see that draw image? Where's it at? There we go. This dot current sprite. Int. Come on, man. Int x minus two. And for the int y, then we can do width, and then negate the height. I believe. Don't exactly know. Oh lord, this is gonna be tough. Uh, then we'll pass it. Mmm, twenties. So they're gonna be coming from the sky. Uh, this dot fire bullet. This dot fire bullet. Check. Put that above it. Then we can do. Let's see. We're probably only going to have time for just a couple enemies, so in this instance, I guess, we can do, to be honest, I don't even know if that'll work. Uh, we have 20 went on. Actually, no, this would be negative 20. Let's make sure it still works. Okay, that does still work. Okay. So then we can do, uh, this dot bell y equals 5. Uh, hmm. Could be two to that draw image. Just that current sprite. Int. Come on, man. <laughs> X. Oh, God. Int. X. Int. Y. Then null. No. No. There we go. Uh. 
can have a level of wave spawner, I guess. Level public vo no public level. Uh then in here each one of these will have like a certain hmm. Actually we'll just we'll leave that unimplemented for now. We'll just spawn in a couple. Next space shooter. Here we go. Hmm. Four int i equals zero. I is less than twenty. I plus plus. Uh generic space shooter dot gsh dot add, add entity new uh green bat double x and double y so ops dot rand zero to six forty and for the y send ops dot rand uh negative two hundred to negative fifty so it'll always spawn outside the screen Zero to actually make it about eight, no, seven, sixty. Yeah. Now we don't actually have any sprites yet, so we'll have to go get those. Uh, where is enemy? All right, we'll get. Yeah, we'll get this guy. We could make him animate, but no, we're running low on time. Uh, well, not really. I could. I could keep doing this, but no. <laughs> uh, hmm. I guess we just have to do it this way. Uh, get it like that. 15 by 16. Oh, I don't like that size. 45, 48, same size as the player. Do that. Remove, 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 remove. Control shift O. Green, bad, PNG. Alright, so now let's try that. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh no, oh no. They're not coming to get me. Why aren't they coming down? <laughs> Why aren't they coming down? They should be coming to get me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, okay then. All right. Uh, this dot x equals this dot vel x. <laughs> dot y plus equals this dot vel y. Now they should. There they come. We <laughs> so blocky one point five. Make them. Oh lord, that's so fast. They fire so fast. Make them about one hundred and fifty. Oh lord, that is so. It's not random. Either. Like they all fire at the same time. Of course, I do spawn them in all at the same time, so I guess the way to alleviate that we could do this dot interval um center ops dot rand zero to one twenty. So that way they'll fire at random times as well. Make the velocity center ops dot rand zero to it's five, sure. Now they should fire at random intervals. There we go. Cool. All right, now we don't have any M. We don't have anything left for them to like fire yet. The only problem is they will be. Actually, another thing we could do is have them have random intervals, so some of them can fire faster than others. Well, actually, wait. Did not really do that. I think that's what I just did. Yeah, I did. I guess we could have some of them like be able to fire faster. Like I'm saying, like not only be able to fire at different rates, but also like. We can do like plus equals center ops dot rand zero to two. Maybe zero to five, whatever. That means oh oh lord oh lord oh lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. Um I can yeah. So some so yeah, so you really don't know for sure when they're gonna fire. It could be faster sometimes than it could be others. We are generating a lot of random numbers though, that is the problem. It's not using up too much RAM though, which is good. Um, let's see. We could make them sway back and forth, but no, nah, we don't have time for that. <laughs> uh, hmm. Where am I going? Where am I going? 
Oh, yeah, for the collision sound. Uh, we gotta do that really fast. So, we can do if this dot this dot entities dot get i dot get id equals stand id dot player. This will be a player to bullet collision. No, it'll be a player or a bullet. So or this dot entities dot get i dot get id standard id dot enemy. This also means that enemies can hurt each other though, so that will be so that would be a problem. So crap. Um Hmm. <laughs> yeah, because that, <clears throat> that means that they'll be able to hit each other. <sighs> ah, no, don't do that. Um, for now, we'll just do it this way. So, uh, what's this? 4 int j equals 0, j is less than this dot entities that get. Size, plus size, shape plus plus. If this dot entities dot get j dot get id equals standard id dot weapon and this dot entities dot get j dot get bounds dot intersects this dot entities dot get i. So if all that is true dot get bounds. So if all this is true, <clears throat> then that means that means that there's been a hit. So uh that means we'll have to do is there a damage modifier in this dot entities I get I dot damage? No. Uh crap, we don't have that field. Uh because we're only checking through um the standard game objects. We'll just make it so each bolt does the same amount of damage to everything. So, mm, this dot entities dot get i dot health minus equals 20, sure, whatever. Uh, this dot entities dot get j dot, no. This dot entities dot remove, and we'll do j. j minus minus. Okay, and then after all that, we take it. So then, go down here. This dot no, it still needs to be in the loop. I'm retarded. Uh, this dot entities dot get i dot tick. Let's just see if this doesn't kill me. Okay, well we don't know what my health is. Uh, center draw dot renderer. No, sorry. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Center draw dot text. Uh, life. Plus this dot health. I uh, put the top left. So 20, 20, nothing, 40F, color dot yellow, sure. So now we have 500, okay. Alright, so it technically does do a lot. That doesn't do too much damage, unfortunately. Uh, you don't really know if you're being hurt or not, so. Down there, there we go. Five hundred. Yeah. So um, the problem is, is that the bullet for the player is being hit by the. Uh, I guess what we could do is pass in double ID. Maybe I don't know. Uh. Yeah, we could do. So that's the first thing that has to be called. So super x y. There's no constructor for that. Are you serious? Come on, man. Ah. I guess. Hmm. I guess we can't call a super constructor. This dot x equals x. This dot y equals y. This dot id equals id. No. Equals. ID equals standard ID dot player to a ternary operator standard ID dot uh, obstacle standard ID dot 
Yeah, this needs to be weapon. Why am I passing as a double? What is wrong with me? ID. There we go. So basically, now, um, you'll have to pass in the, the ID of whatever you are. So, I'll do this dot get ID. Okay. Uh, do this dot get ID. So these will be enemies, and if it's a player, it'll be a weapon. If it's not, it'll be an obstacle. So we can do, in here, if it equals a obstacle... So now the player can still fire bullets, but he'll be hit by other bullets that aren't mine. There we go. Alright, so in this sense we can do... Uh, this This is going to be the last one we'll do, because we're running really low on time. Uh, player bullet to enemy. So, if this dot entities dot get i dot get id equals standard id dot weapon for int j equals zero j is less than this dot entity so I get no dot size j plus plus if this dot entity so I get j dot get id is equal to standard id dot dot enemy and this dot entity dot get j dot get bounds dot intersects this dot entities dot get i dot get bounds no not get bound bounds get bounds then we'll do this dot entities dot get j dot get no dot health Minus equals 20. And then uh, we can do <clears throat> do this. If this dot health is less than or equal to zero, green or no. Uh, generic space your dot gsh dot remove this. Then just do return. And the garbage collector will handle it from there. Uh, but now it's going to be bullets flying everywhere, so we can do if this dot y is less than or equal to negative 50, less than negative 300, or this dot y is going to be equal to 1500. So then from here, all right, sorry about that. Um, let's see. So then from there we can check from if it's outside of the top of the screen, like way outside of it, or if it's way below the screen, which means the enemy fired it. It'll remove it and then we'll return. This is the bullet, so now we need the player. And do if this dot health is less than zero. Uh do J option pain dot show message dialog. Null. You died. System dot exit zero. Then we can just do your score was generic space shooter dot score. And score will be constantly accumulating. We'll do that. So then do mm, oh, et cetera instance variables. Public static and score equals zero. The whole time, do this dot score. No. Generic dot score plus plus. Sure. Uh, for the whole time, we can just do mm, if this dot gssh dot size is less than twenty. We'll access it differently. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 what? What? Yeah, it should be static. Oh. No, don't need to remove the modifier. Just... No, don't remove... Yeah, there we go. That's what we do. Then do this. Work. 
All right, let's see. Does that work? Oh, it works. Nice. But now there's no more coming. What? 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 There's still some up there, but they're not coming down, that's for sure. Uh. Oh, or this dot y is greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to new 900. There we go. So now they'll keep coming forever. All right, there we go. There we go. So now they're constantly coming forever. And your real, your only goal is just to accumulate a score as big as possible. Um, we don't have a. There's no collision like if they hit you or not, but that's fine. We could implement that easily. Um, just if they intersect, just kill you instantly, I guess. <laughs> uh. But I guess we'll make the make their health like fifty or something, whatever, so you can't take all the any damage or you'll die. Make it really hard. <laughs> make it just impossible to win. Fifty ten and boom, you're dead. Cool. Alright, so uh well, I guess we'll just draw the score real quick and then we'll be done. Uh let's see standard draw the text score Generic space shooter dot score not some bit score twenty actually no it seems to be on the other side. Uh six fifty I guess fifty I get null for the F color dot yellow. Da make it about five eighty sure. That's going to quickly go off the screen, though, so... Uh, I might have to make it over there, actually. 50, and then 20. Nope, they're going to be overlapping. What's wrong with me? It's about 90, maybe? There we go, that's perfect. Cool. And you're dead. Nice. Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. It was pretty basic, I know. But, uh... When we keep going with these or this type of like keep going with this and make it a lot better which i could i could make this way better than it is i could make like you know like wavy enemies like make them move in like a sign pattern or something but um yeah this is just a basic thing it only took me like seven classes <laughs> all right so i'll see you guys next time peace out